In this video, we will go through the computation questions from one CXC, CSEC, multiple choice mathematics examination. Remember, calculators are not allowed in this exam. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and resume when you have an answer for each question. If you get stuck on any, check the description below for the link to the video that covered that topic. Okay, let's go. Question 1. In standard form or scientific notation, a number has just one digit before the decimal point that isn't zero. Thus, we need a decimal point to be moved to after the tree. We would get 3.46 multiplied by 10 to some power. The decimal point is moved two places. So the magnitude of the index is 2. But is it positive or negative? 3.46 multiplied by 10 to the positive 2 gives 346. 3.46 by 10 to the negative 2, on the other hand, gives 0 0.0346, the number we started with. Thus, the answer is 3.46 multiplied by 10 to the negative 2. The answer is A. I answered questions 2, 3, 4, and 5 in previous videos. Check the descriptions below for the links if you want to see the working. The answer to question 2 is A. To question 3 is B. To question 4 is C. And to question 5 is B. Question 6. The ratio of John, Peter, and Mary is 2 to 4 to 9. John and Peter together, 6 shares, received $360. 6 shares received $360. We are asked to find the total amount of money. We are asked to find 2 plus 4 plus 9 which is equal to 15, 15 shares. I will use the unitary method. One share is equal to $360 divided by 6. Thus, 15 shares is equal to the amount for 1 multiplied by 15. So, $360 divided by 6 multiplied by 15. 3 into 6, 2. 3 into 15, 5. 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 360, 180. So, 15 shares is equal to 180 multiplied by 5. 180 multiplied by 5 is equal to 900. The answer is D. I am Mr. Dubey. Remember, to get the most out of my channel, please view the videos in order using the playlist. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.